Hi, everyone. My name is Julia Martins. I'm a cooperative researcher on behalf of the Colorado Office of Employee Ownership. I'm joined today with Blake Jones, the co-founder of Namaste Solar, the president and director of Cashua Impact Fund, and board member of the Clean Energy Credit Union. Thank you for joining us for this series where we gather stories from employee-owned businesses across Colorado. So Blake, thank you for joining us. And what inspired you to begin considering employee ownership? When we started Namaste Solar back in 2004, we wanted to start it as a, an employee-owned company. I think that we had a lot of ideas for wanting to do business differently, for wanting to create a new type of business model. Um, but one of the things we were thinking was that if we could have everybody acting and thinking like an owner, that that could be a competitive advantage for us, that we would all be uh, managing the company, co-managing the company together, and that that would translate into better work quality, better customer service, and uh, basically a better, better ability to, to run the company and be competitive. Thank you. So what employee ownership did you choose and why? At the beginning, we, we were first time naive entrepreneurs in, in many ways. We didn't know a lot about employee ownership. And so we created our own, we invented our own wheel, so to speak. We created our own custom employee ownership model. And that worked very well for our first five years. And then we learned about employee-owned cooperatives or worker cooperatives, which is a, a more specific blueprint or, or structure for employee ownership. And when we learned about it, we thought, you know, that, that's a better fit for what we've been trying to do. And it's good to see that there's a, a lot we can learn from other employee-owned cooperatives. Whereas with our own custom model, it, it, was, it was unique. Uh, we didn't, it was harder to compare notes with other employee-owned companies and to learn from them. So about five years into our, uh, into our journey, we converted from our custom employee ownership structure to a employee owned cooperative structure. And that's been a wonderful fit for us ever since for the last, I guess it's 12, 12 years now that we've been a cooperative. Thank you. And what is one thing your business does to promote the ownership mindset among the employees? Oh, we, it's ingrained in every aspect of our culture. So we're, we're talking about it constantly, the way that we operate and to get together uh, and, and make decisions and inform ourselves. It's very much ingrained in all that we do. And we believe that that's very important because if you're going to harness one of the best advantages of being employee owned, uh, you, you, you need to help everyone to think and act like an owner. And you can only do that by by truly living and breathing every aspect of, of, of having an ownership culture, having ownership mindset. One, one easy example is that we believe that employee owners are able to do a better in their day-to-day -day job roles when they can see how their job role connects with the bigger picture of what the company is trying to do. And that means informing them the way that an owner, owner would be informed. So being aware of financials, having open book management, being aware of what, how, how the company's uh, performing in terms of its other goals and its other key metrics, being aware of uh, major challenges, major opportunities, all those things. And when someone's better informed and they see how their puzzle, their individual puzzle piece of their job role fits in with the larger um, picture, th they do a better job on a day-to-day -day basis. And the same thing with, um, you know, with, with having some control or some autonomy over their job roles, over their teams. Um, as an employee-owned company, a lot of people think, oh, wait, does that mean that all the owners make decisions on, you know, they're involved in every single decision? And the answer is no, but we want to make sure that people are involved uh, in the decisions in what their job roles are most related to. And then we do have other, other things that the entire company does decide upon, but there are things that you'd see stockholders deciding upon at any other company, such as voting for board of directors. Mm -hmm. And, and what has been one of the most surprising or significant benefits of employee ownership? I think that at the beginning, we were unsure about how well our employee ownership model or the culture would be able to scale. And what's been pleasantly uh, surprising and, and fun is that over the last 16 years, we have successfully scaled up to about 200 people. And 
uh, I think that we've been able to grow and to evolve our employee ownership culture and our structure uh, as, as well as we could have liked. Whereas I think when we started, a lot of folks thought, oh, that employee ownership structure, that's probably fine for one or two dozen people, but I bet you'll have a hard time growing beyond that. And uh, what turned out to be was we had normal growing pains, but there weren't any additional growing pains as a result of being employee owned. It, it ended up being something that we were able to find creative ways to adapt and grow and maintain that employee ownership spirit, that culture, that structure uh, with every uh, change in size, with every evolution that, that we had as we were growing. Thank you. And uh, what is one thing you wish you had known when embarking in this employee ownership journey? I'm not sure. There's sometimes where I think maybe it would have been better if we had known about the employee ownership cooperative structure when we started. Um, but then I think the path that we took ended up being a good one. So uh, when I've thought of this question before, I, I haven't uh, been able to come up with anything better than than just I wish I wish I had some of the wisdom and, and I wish our company had some of the wisdom that we've gained just over operating running and growing a company over the past 16 years I think back to some of those initial decisions that we made some of those initial ways that we ran the company and you know we made some mistakes and there was some naivete involved but I also think that we learned a lot from every single one of those mistakes and that that all helped contribute to us being who we are today and to getting to where we are today. Thank you, that's great. Thank you very much for your insights. Thank you for your mission. And I really appreciate you joining us today. Thanks for having me.